Hello, in this video we will be looking at if you can cash in a frozen pension. A frozen pension is a workplace pension scheme from an employer that you no longer work for. As soon as you leave jobs at companies, your pension is frozen, in the sense that you often cannot contribute to it anymore. However, if it is a defined contribution scheme, the money will continue to remain invested. An immediate question to ask, where you have a defined contribution scheme, is what you can do with frozen pensions to stop the risk of losing too much money to the regular management fee. This of course can be offset by investment returns, but nevertheless something that you need to consider. One choice is pension transfers. This is when you transfer your pension plans and pull your pots together in order to be able to continue contributing and to save an amount of money on maintenance costs. An immediate question to ask, where you have a defined contribution scheme, is what you can do with frozen pensions to stop the risk of losing too much money to the regular management fee. This of course can be offset by investment returns, but nevertheless something that you need to consider. One choice is pension transfers. This is when you transfer your pension plans and pull your pots together in order to be able to continue contributing and to save an amount of money on maintenance costs. But, this may not always be possible with the rules of your pension provider. For example, public sector schemes do not allow transfers under their named restrictions. Another issue to be aware of is the terminology of your paperwork. Understanding whether your pension scheme is called a defined contribution scheme or a defined benefit scheme will help you work out if you would lose any pension benefits by leaving the provider. For example, a defined benefit pension gives you a guaranteed income for life. This salary pension increases at the rate of inflation. Transferring to another deal may cause you to lose this valuable feature of benefit pensions. You can speak to an independent pension specialist if you are confused about your entitlement to benefits under any of your frozen pension schemes. Since the pension review in April 2015, we have had more pension freedoms in the UK. Now, you can access cash from pension pots at the age of 55. However, from 2028 you will only be able to withdraw a pension from age 57. You can cash in pension at 55 even if your defined contribution pension or defined benefit pension has been frozen because you left your old employer. You can even continue working past retirement age while taking money from your pensions and continuing to contribute to the pensions pots to keep them topped up. Early pension withdrawal is not possible before the age of 55, except in cases where you are severely ill. If someone tells you that you can release pension funds before the age of 55, they are likely trying to defraud you and get you to break the law. These scams are called pension liberation. The fraudsters charge large fees to release your cash, and then the government will fine you a large tax charge penalty for breaking the law. As mentioned above, you will be charged income tax on amount you withdraw, over and above your tax-free cash allowance of 25%. So, choosing not to take your money as a lump sum but over the course of several tax years can give you some tax relief and mean that you lose less money to tax. The administrators of your old employer scheme can provide more information about how you will be taxed. The organization staff can also tell you more about how cashing in your frozen pension would work in line with their terms. Your age, your financial circumstances, and the type of pension scheme you have a can all make a big difference when thinking about withdrawing pensions before retirement. That is the end of this video, but if you would like to read more you can do so on the help and advice website.